morning, everyone. Thank you. Um, I also came from out of town to try and share with all of you some of my experiences. My town of Broadview Heights, Ohio, has been totally colonized by the oil and gas industry. And I know you all came here tonight, you know, feeling probably really empowered that you were going to get to speak at a hearing, um, an EPA hearing, no less, our Environmental Protection Agency. Well, I want to tell you a few things that these officials and representatives from these protection agencies aren't going to tell you. First of all, this hearing is really just a, a box, a checkbox on the application for the permit. Okay, so you know, you might feel better, like you got something off your chest when you get to speak, but they don't have to do anything with your comments, just so you know that. Also, it's a permit hearing, and I want you to think about the word permit. Permit. It permits the harm to occur in your community. The permit makes it legal. It makes it legal for the pipeline company to put poison into your air. So when you try to take legal action after the fact when you're sick, guess what? They have a permit that allows them to do this. And I also want you to think about what you've heard or read about some of the chemicals that are going to be emitted either tonight or if you've read them other places from this compressor station, the formaldehyde, benzene, toluene, all these other toxic chemicals. Well, guess what? These protection agencies, these government agencies that our tax dollars are paying for that you think are protecting you are actually working hand in hand with industry and they've come up with acceptable levels for you, for you, your kids, all of us to breathe in. So, so many parts per million of all those bad chemicals are okay. Well, who decided that? Did any of you decide that? And what we wind up doing, we're so conditioned to think this is how we have to act, this is what we have to do, that we start arguing and wanting them to enforce 10,000 parts per million of a toxic chemical. Now this is nuts. No one ever thinks to say, no, we want zero parts per million of formaldehyde. <laughs> to the state-of-the-art monitoring and regulation that's going to go on of this, I can tell you from a community that's been fracked and fracked next to schools, next to homes, there are no state-of-the-art monitoring that goes on. The EPA, we've had leaks, we've had spills, we've had um, evacuations of residential communities, and guess what? We called the EPA to come out. All these were reported by residents, and that's the only time we ever saw the EPA. So don't fall for the line that everything is closely monitored. And I have another option to suggest to you, and I know it's a really radical idea in a democracy, but it's that the people in this community, you actually can pass a law by the people and for the people. A law that protects your own health, safety, and welfare. The residents of this community. It's called altering and reforming your government with a law to protect the community when the current government is not. It's your inalienable right to do so. And I hope you'll go see the table over there. She's raising her hand. Um, because they have information and they would love to have you help them make this a community effort. Thank you. Woo!